Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a value experiment. So we have a 2006 Speed 2 versus a 2018 Fly Surfer Soul. We've got our expert panel here and they're gonna do the heavy lifting for us. They're gonna try both kites and then they're gonna tell us at the end of their session which kite provides more value for money. The $200 kite or the $3,000 kite. <laughs> do you have any predictions before we get started? Of course, the uh, $200 kite is the best uh, value for money. So I've got the Speed 2 in the air. First impressions, this is different. <laughs> I was not kiting in these days, so this is a very interesting safety system for me. <laughs> It is a lot of bar pressure. Your arms definitely feel it on the water. And through the turns, it's it pulls quite a bit. It was quite enjoyable. Actually, through the loops, it was pretty steady and pulls a lot, actually. Not a whole bunch of D-power. Yeah, D-power on this kite is not the greatest. The Speed 2 weighs 9.4 pounds with the bar and the sole weighs 7.4 pounds due to lighter fabric. Another key difference between the two kites is that the bridles on the sole are considerably shorter, which results in less drag. Both the Speed 2 and the sole are equipped with the mixer test, but only the sole comes with the possibility of conducting a long mixer test so you can fine tune it back to factory settings as the bridles shrink. Sole has uh, Velcro discharge valve. Uh, this kite has uh, discharge valve at the back as a zipper. We're making sure to test in a variety of conditions. Today the wind is stronger and gustier, and also we have a brand new 12 meter sole, as you can see, and a brand new bar. I was very surprised. I thought it would um, handle really bad, but uh, you know what? It, it, it's, worth, it's worth the money. It's very good price for 200, but no more. Considering it's 12 years old, it's pretty good. Uh, oh wow, we've got another old one up there. <laughs> so that's a speed too, so this should be a much better kite. Yes, see this is German techno. Oh, it's going to fall out of the sky now. Hang on. Don't do that to me. How's the wind out there anyways? This kite has a huge bar pressure and very difficult to predict where it's going to pull or not. Well, I didn't enjoy it, to be honest with you. I could boost really well with it. It is a lot of bar pressure though. Um, well, a little more difficult to handle. You really have to pull hard on it. It does pull you like a like a tank, though. It does. Whoa! Bar grip's not bad, actually. It's barely peeling here, which is impressive given that it's a 12-year-old kite. As you can see, there is no glue. So I didn't spend $10 on the glue like Yuri did for his bar, right? Yep, well, true. chicken loops, yeah, suck right now. But for 25,000 million years old, it's pretty good. Pretty good shape. The newer bar, um, because of the coating, uh, the maneuver, like the, the when it goes up and down, it's a lot less uh, drag. Let's put it that way. Uh, so if you guys don't know already, we are brand ambassadors for Fly Surfer, and that's why we have our friends participate in these videos uh, to give unbiased reviews. Uh, that being said. This is a great kite for 200 bucks. I was very impressed. I did not have high expectations for this 12 year old kite when I got on the water, but I was quite surprised. <laughs> Seems the Speed 2 is holding up a little bit better than the Speed 3 right now. By the way, Speed 2, halfway depowered right now, and it's up in the air. Speed 3, fully powered, yes, and it's almost crushed down in the water. When buying a used kite, it's always a lottery, especially when your budget is just $200. We got pretty lucky in that this kite is in great flying condition. But you know what, let me go on this hole, you know, and, and uh, get a, handle, a feel of it, and then when I come back, I will uh, have a better idea of the difference because it's fresh in my mind. All right, so see you after. It's a wonderful kite, very one. It's so stable, so reliable. Two times, so maybe three times, <laughs> but. And I got on the sole and I realized, yeah, <laughs> the sole is the sole for a reason. It's an amazing kite and well worth the price tag in my opinion. Those two kites, it's like they can both go 100 kilometers an hour on the highway, but one is Hyundai Accent and the other one is something a little bit more sportier. 
a lot more responsive. So this is like a Ferrari and that's like a tank. I mean, yes, the older type I find does have a lot more uh, power in it, but a lot less responsive uh, in, the, in the, a lot more bar pressure. Interestingly, only the Speed 2 features jet flaps, which improve performance, as well as blowout valves, which prevent internal damage when crashing your kite. Both the Soul and Speed 2 use little connection lines for attaching bridles to the kite, but both have different systems for attaching bar lines. So, my opinion is if you can afford it, it's well worth uh, buying a newer kite. Is it worth the money? I would say yes for me. If you're serious about kite surfing, for sure, but if you're not, then uh, you, can, uh, you can play with the $300 uh, Speed 2 and then see how you like it. So let us know, what kite do you prefer? I prefer Soul. I don't regret any penny spent on Souls. <laughs> this kite is good, but for older days, not for now. Yeah, no, I'd rather go with the newer kite. I would spend the money, I would. You have a lot more fun with the Soul. Soul is much more uh, well-tuned than the other one. I really enjoy all aspects of it. No bar pressure, easy to ride, no brain power necessary to really work the kite. Lots of fun, Soul's rock! So in my opinion, if you're looking for a high performance kite, you want to be on the water as much as possible, money is, I mean it's an object, but it's not your greatest concern, then 100% go with the Soul. It is a great kite, it's my favorite kite, and I don't think you'll regret it at all. That being said, if you're not so sure, then maybe look on the used market. You'll find a deal like this. And you know what? For 2006 kite, it performs incredibly well. It exceeded my expectations. I think too that it's really impressive that this is a kite from 2006 and it still holds up today in 2019. It would get you on the water, gets you having fun. So there's nothing wrong with that. If history repeats itself and you have a soul, you can imagine probably in the next 10 years, you could still ride that soul and have a great session. Oh, they're picking up the second guy too. Wow, they're generous. That makes sense.